Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be painting a really simple seaside sunset. Uh, this is a great project for brush control, it's a great project for beginners, and it's just a really great project for playing with beautiful colours. So I hope that you'll join me. So this is what I'm using today. I've got some watercolour paper. This happens to be on a block. Um, it's Archer's um, Arsh paper. It's cotton and it's um, cold pressed but you can use any watercolour paper for this project. I've got a pencil, I've got some masking fluid, um, which is going to be helpful for just painting around the sun, um, and I've got a little brush uh, for applying the masking fluid. Now somebody gave me a tip that you can rub your brush into some soap first and it stops the masking fluid sticking, so I might give that a go as well. And then I've got three different sized brushes. I've got, um, this is a, a flat brush, three quarter inch. Um, I've got a kind of medium to large size round brush with a nice point on it. And then I've got a brush that's good for fine details. This one happens to be a rigger and it's a size three. And I'll put the details of everything that I'm using in the description box. I've got four different paints that I've got, um, I've selected for this painting. Um, I've got cerulean blue, I've got indanthrene blue, so a couple of different blues. So the indanthrene blue is going to allow me to get some really dark colours, and the cerulean blue has got a nice kind of granulation, so it'll just give me a little bit of a difference between the blues. Uh, and then I've got some quinacridone magenta and some quinacridone gold. I'm going to be mixing them on this little plate, which I'm going to use as a palette. And uh, the other thing that I've got today is I've just got a ruler because I'm going to draw a nice straight horizon line. So I'm going to start by just doing some very, very simple drawing. So I'm going to decide on where my horizon line is going to go. And I think maybe quite low, maybe a little lower than a third. I'm just going to use the ruler to make that nice and straight. But you can draw against anything that's got a straight edge. And then I want a sun, so I'm going to place it right in the middle. Now then, I could do with something maybe round to draw around. Let's see what I've got. Um, pen top. That'll do. A penny would be perfect. But this will be fine. Let's get it in the right place. And I'll sketch around it. There we go. And then I'm going to draw like really stylized clouds. Um, so I want some like horizontal lines that go right away across the page. I want them to start out fairly close together and then I'm going to add clouds into them. So uh, this is a really, it's a different way of painting the sunset. So I'm going to paint all of the sections in kind of different, different bits. So I'm going to start by putting some clouds. I want more clouds on the edges and then I want less in the middle. Fewer in the middle. So let's start by drawing in some clouds here. Nice. Kind of fluffy clouds there. And then I just want a straight line. Sort of straight, doesn't have to be completely straight. All the way to the edge. And actually, I think I might want something in the sea. So I think maybe this line here, I'm going to bring up and put just a little um, kind of piece on here that is going to be an island. There we go. So I've got some interest in the picture. It's not completely kind of featureless. Um, and then I want more clouds on this side, so I'm going to bring in my clouds from this side again. Oh, I find it more difficult drawing right to left than left to right. There we go. And then let's have another line that comes in straight to start with. And then I add in some clouds there. It's going to go behind the sun. And then maybe these ones go up on the right as well. And then I think I want some more like lines in here. I want it to look quite stripey. So I'm going to put in a couple of little extra lines in there. Maybe another 
bank of cloud on that side and then another stripe is going to come behind that cloud and then I can add in a bit of cloud here and I'm just making these up up and down up and down nice and wiggly I think I need something in the middle there And then this one I'm going to come down just to break it up, be a little bit different. At the top I'm going to have more stripes that go all the way across or maybe just have a little bit of something happening in them. So one thing you can do is you can go over this with an eraser just anywhere it's a little bit dark and take out some of that, um, that the depth of the pencil, the darkness of the pencil. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to mask out the sun just so I've got a really nice bright spot there. I'm going to take my brush, um, wet it and then I'm going to try this technique with kind of putting it kind of coating it with soap first. So let's try that. And then I'm going to paint the sun with masking fluid. So let's cover the centre of it first and then spend a little time going around the edge. There we go, let's leave that to dry and let's see whether I can clean this off. So yeah, that seems to have worked quite nicely. So good tip there, thank you for that. While the masking fluid's drying I can paint the first layer of the sea and I'm going to do this wet in wet so I'm going to coat the whole thing with water up to that horizon line. Now this is a technique that I find works better on cotton paper than it does on non-cotton watercolour papers but um, I would give it a go anyway and see what you see how it works for you. You might just need to work a little quicker or what I find is that there's more movement in the paint um, so you might need to kind of spend a little bit more time blending it. And then I want to kind of put an under colour on here. Down the centre I want the reflection of the sun. So that's going to be nice and bright and I'm going to use some of this yellow right in the centre and just put a stripe of that down the middle. There we go. And then I want deep blue at the edges so I'm going to use my darker blue. It doesn't need to be that dark because I am going to paint stuff over the top of it. So I'm going to put that on either side. And have it like darker at the sides and kind of lighter in the middle. I'm 
I'm going to put my cerulean blue next. It's just a little bit greenier, a little bit brighter. Now, if I mix the blue straight into the yellow, I'd get green. And while I do like green, that's not really what I want right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of the magenta, just mix it into that blue and create like a purple. Purple and yellow kind of neutralise each other out, so they will cancel each other out. Just wash my brush so I can now do some blending backwards and forwards. Now I can start painting the sky and I'm going to do it section by section. I'm going to start at the top and paint the stripe at the top because it's nice and far away from the sea which is cooling at the bottom. Cooling? Drying. That's what I meant. I'm going to use this cerulean blue at the top and I'm going to start with kind of more pastel-y and more bluey colours and then as I come down, as you get closer to the sun, they're going to get more and more intense. I'm going to use more pinks and purples and things like that, fun sunset-y colours. But I'm just going to start by painting the stripe at the top. I've moved to my slightly smaller brush, which has got this point which allows me to get into all the fine details. And I'm going to start by trying to paint alongside the pencil line that I put in there. If you don't quite hit it, that's all right, because they're clouds, they're all wiggly anyway. I just want to make sure I've got lots of nice kind of interesting rounded shapes in there. And then as a contrast, these straight lines are nice and kind of horizontal there. And then I can add a little bit more colour and just paint in that whole section and blend everything together. Now over here this has started to dry a little bit. I'm just going to make sure I go right over the top of that bit that's dried, just so I don't end up with any kind of harsh lines in there. I'm just going to use the point of my brush just to go into some of these areas and just to find them a little bit more. making them look nice and curly and curvy and cloudy. Okay, now I can pick another stripe somewhere further down the page and I can paint that in the same way. I'm not going to pick this one next to there because I don't want the colours to bleed. So I'm just going to move a little bit further down and pick another colour. So this one, I've got plenty of blue on my uh, palette. So if I just mix some of the uh, magenta into there, I'm going to get a nice kind of purpley colour, which would be good for one of these clouds a little bit further down. So I'm going to keep painting stripes of these little cloudy shapes all the way down until I get to the sea. I'm going to leave the gaps and then I'll come back and fill them in later.
I'm waiting for bits down here to dry, I can go back up here and these two sections are completely dry so I can fill in this bit in the middle. Let's do a nice soft pink. And if you go over some of the edges a little bit, it doesn't matter too much. You can even leave a little bit of white at the top, show a little bit of highlight at the top of the cloud. That's up to you, or you can kind of fill it all in. Let's do one where I leave a little bit of white there. So you could kind of leave that bit. I think I'm going to fill it all in. I think it looks good, but I think um, I think I just want it to kind of be nice and clean, have nice clean lines around the edges. But it's up to you. It's personal preference. The other thing you can do is you can go over some of the lighter area a little bit. And that gives you a sense of like having a dark stripe in between the light one. So I could put that in up here as well. Let's try and get the top of that nice and straight. And then let's move down again. And yeah, these are all dry now. Behind the sun, I want lighter areas in the centre. So I want more of the, I want more of the yellows, but they can get darker as they go out to the side. So let's paint this one and I can just paint right over the sun because I've covered it in masking fluid. So I can do my yellow there, but I can add a little bit of pink to the side and um, give me like a, a little orange glow there. That's quite nice. And again, let's paint the yellow there, yellow stripe there. But let's add, actually, maybe let's add even a little bit of kind of blue in there. That's going to give me like a gray. greeny grey kind of colour there. Let's blend that back a bit. Push it back. Just want a tiny bit. I've got this island down here and I actually want this to be really dark so I want this to be the kind of the darkest blue I can get. So I may even do a couple of layers on this. And I might add a little bit of purple in there too. Oops, I smudged it a bit, it's going to get a bit higher. I can do this bit here and I think I'm going to do that a nice, really bright pink.
and I think I want to take some of the colour out of there just so I've got a little bit of a difference with the one the kind of cloud above it so I can just clean my brush and lift some of that colour or just give me a bit of a highlight in there The final thing I want to do is make the sea a lot darker, so I'm going to mix up some of the really lovely dark blue and if it runs into some other colours then that's okay as well. I'm going to add a little bit more magenta, so I've got a kind of purpley bit as well. kind of want to do the same colours as I painted the island. And for this I'm going to take my really fine brush and I'm just going to paint stripes across the sea. So, from one side to the other. And if it runs out, that's okay. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more color there and reinforce that side. And if some of the lines break a little bit, that's okay as well. And if some of them are a little bit wobbly, that's okay too. thing to do is to remove the masking fluid where your sun is and I think I'm just going to give this a little halo Oops. too much too much I'm gonna give this a little halo of gold Paint all the way around the edge, water in the center, spread that round and then I'm actually gonna remove a lot of that. So I've just taken down the starkness of it. So there's my stylized seaside sunset. I really hope you have fun painting this. You can use any combination of kind of blue, a pinky red, so something like an opera rose or a, um, a permanent rose, something like that, if you don't have the magenta and any kind of yellow really, but you just mix them all up and you get all of these interesting different colors that come out of that, that mix. So I really hope that you enjoy this project. Um, I've really had fun painting all of these lovely sunset colours. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing your versions of this. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to the channel. 
You'll find lots of resources on my website, including supplies lists and reference images that you can use for inspiration for your own paintings. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video very soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye.